In this video, we're going to talk about ionic radii, the sizes of ions. And ionic radii follows the same trend as atomic radii. That is, the ions get bigger as you go down. So for example, let's uh, draw some ions. So here we have the lithium plus ion, and then the sodium plus cation, and also the potassium cation. Now the lithium ion is about 60 picometers. The sodium ion is 95, and potassium is 133. So as you can see, as you go down, the sizes of the ions increases. So sodium is a bigger ion than lithium. Now as you go to the right, it decreases as well. Magnesium is a lot smaller than sodium, and aluminum is a lot smaller than magnesium. So this is if you're looking at uh, positively charged ions. Magnesium is 65 picometers, aluminum uh, is 50 with a plus 3 charge. Now, as you cross over from cations to anions, something interesting happens. Sulfide is a lot bigger than the aluminum cation, and so is chloride. The sulfide ion is 184 picometers, and chloride is 181. So as you can see, the ions with negative charges are a lot bigger than the ions with positive charges. In fact, the more positive the charge, the smaller the ion. The more negative the charge, the bigger the ion. And that's a general trend. So ionic radii increases as you go down, and it decreases as you go to the right. However, as you cross from cation to anion, it's going to change. Now let's work on some problems. Which ion is larger? So part A, is it the beryllium ion or is it the magnesium ion? Now both of these ions contain a positive 2 charge. So which one is it? Now, if we place these ions in their respective positions on the periodic table, you'll see that magnesium is below beryllium. And ionic radii increases as you go down. So therefore, magnesium should be a lot bigger than beryllium. Beryllium has an ionic size of 31 picometers, and magnesium is 65. So magnesium is more than twice the size of beryllium. Now let's understand why. An atom of beryllium has four electrons, so the beryllium ion has only two electrons. An atom of magnesium has 12 electrons, but the Mg plus two ion, it loses two, so it has 10 electrons. If we draw the structure of beryllium, let's say this is the nucleus, it only has one shell, which contains two electrons. So that's the beryllium ion. The nucleus has a charge of plus 4, because that's the atomic number. And it only has two electrons in its first shell. Magnesium has 12 protons, so the nuclear charge is plus 12, and it has 10 electrons. Two in the first shell, and then eight in the second shell. So that's why magnesium is a lot bigger than beryllium. It has two energy levels as opposed to one. Now what about part B? Let's compare calcium with gallium. Now the charges of these two ions are different. In the last example, they were the same. Whenever you have two positively charged cations, typically the one that's smaller is going to be the one with the higher positive charge. So it turns out gallium is smaller than ca uh, calcium. The size of the calcium plus 2 ion is about 99 picometers, and gallium is 62, the gallium plus 3 ion. So why is gallium a lot smaller than calcium? For one reason, gallium is to the right of calcium on a periodic table. And as you go towards the right, the ionic radii decreases. 
gallium has a higher effective nuclear charge than calcium. And so gallium, it makes the higher effective nuclear charge causes gallium to be smaller than calcium. So anytime you increase the effective nuclear charge, the ionic radii decreases. So the sizes of the ions become smaller. Now let's move on to part C. So which ion is larger? Is it the potassium ion or the bromide ion? When you're comparing cations and anions, the one with the negative charge is usually the bigger ion. So bromide is a lot bigger than the potassium cation. The ionic radii of these two ions are 133 and 195. As you can see, bromide is a lot bigger than the potassium cation. Now, the potassium cation only has 18 electrons. It lost one. Bromine has 35, but it gained one, so the bromide ion has 36 electrons. So the potassium ion is a lot smaller because it only has three shells filled with electrons. The first shell has two, the second has eight, and the third one has another eight. So that's a total of 18. Now the bromide ion is going to be a lot bigger because instead of having three energy levels, it's going to have four to fill up the 36 electrons. And so an ion with more energy levels is going to be a bigger ion. And that's why negatively charged ions are usually bigger than positively charged ions because in order to form a negative charge, you have to add an electron and that causes the electron cloud to be bigger, to expand. Now let's move on to part D. Let's compare the sodium atom with the sodium ion. So which one is going to be bigger? When you compare a cation with its parent atom, the cation is always smaller. The atom is going to be bigger. And the reason for that is simple. It has to do with the number of energy levels that sodium has. Sodium contains 11 electrons. It has a positive 11 charge at the nucleus. The first shell has 2, the second has 8, and the third shell contains 1. Now the sodium cation, it lost the valence electron. So therefore it only has 10 electrons, 2 in the first shell, 8 in the second. So because it lost an energy level, it's going to be a lot smaller than the parent atom. So cations are usually smaller than the neutral parent atom. Now let's consider the last example. Chlorine versus chloride. Which one's going to be bigger? Well, chloride has one more electron than chlorine. Chlorine has 17 electrons. Chloride has 18 electrons. Now, granted, both particles have three energy levels. However, the extra electron causes electron-electron repulsion, which causes the electron cloud to expand. So chloride is actually a lot bigger than chlorine. In fact, the ionic radius of chlorine is about 99 picometers. And for the chloride ion, it's 181. So the chloride ion is a lot bigger than the chlorine atom. That extra electron added to it makes a huge difference. So negatively charged ions are a lot bigger than the parent atoms, but positively charged ions are a lot smaller. In the case of sodium, the atomic size for sodium, or rather the atomic radii, is 186, and for the sodium ion, it's 95. So as you can see, the cations are a lot smaller than their parent neutral atoms, but the anions are a lot bigger. So those are some things that you want to keep in mind. Number two, rank the following isoelectronic ions in order of decreasing ionic radii. So what does the word isoelectronic means? 
It means that these ions have the same electron configuration and that they have the same number of electrons. They're isoelectronic with neon. They all have 10 electrons. And so therefore, the electron configuration for each of these ions is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So how do we know which ion is going to be small and which ones are big? So remember the general rule. Positively charged ions are very small. Negatively charged ions are big. So just by knowing that, you can go ahead and rank it. So we want to rank it in order of decrease in ionic radii. So we want to start from the big ions and then go towards the small ions. The biggest ion is going to be oxide because it has a very high negative charge. And then it's going to be fluoride, which is bigger than the sodium cation, which is bigger than the magnesium plus 2 cation. The oxide ion is 140 picometers. Fluoride is 136. Sodium is 95. And magnesium is 65. So as you can see, the negatively charged ions are significantly larger than the positively charged ions.